Uh, my name is Jared Kearney, uh, and my film is called The Man Who Loved Flowers. It's playing in the Midnight Madness showing this year. Well, it's in part a horror film, uh, being a Stephen King adaptation, but um, combined with that and kind of at the core, it's, I like to think of it as a love story. Um, so essentially it's about that, it's about that dark place that love and heartbreak will often bring people. Um, you now most people are able to, you know, kind of get through it and kind of come out of that, but for my character, he's, he doesn't come back. He's kind of consumed by it and um, almost damned in a way. J just a huge fan, really, and I, that was always a story I really liked because it was so short but, but impactful, and I just I thought it was really something I could make, make my own while kind of staying true to what he wrote originally as well. I know that it was really cool, and a lot of people were excited to hear that a uh, local filmmaker was able to get the rights. Was that a yeah. complicated process, or how did you go about that? I wasn't hurt at all. I just I asked him. I sent an email. That was it. Yeah, once once the ball really got rolling, we launched an Indiegogo, Indiegogo campaign, and we did extremely well. We, uh, we met our goal, uh, nice. and a lot faster than I thought I was going to. I think it's just about picking the right project, because I think, I think a lot of people kind of might get a bit jaded with all the f campaigns that come their way, asking for their support. So I think it's just about picking the project that's right, just, you know, at the right time. This, this one, um, I had an original score made, which I had never really done before, especially one that's complicated. So that was a new process for me. Um, and we also shot out of the city for most of the part, so that was kind of a newer thing, just logistical things about traveling with uh, such a big crew. Uh, I think it just come, kind of comes down to experience, just putting yourself out there, like joining the film co-op, going to Silver Wave, and just uh, making the right connections and, you know, just slowly getting into it. 